Well, for me, the whole story begins in my university years when I became a convert to Christ uh, and began reading the New Testament for the first time seriously. I, oh, I'd never read it before. Uh, and that was life-changing for me. And a couple of years later then, I found myself in Nigeria, uh, which is the most populous of all the sub-Saharan African countries. Kamwe people are a, a group of people way up in the northeastern corner of Nigeria uh, along the Cameroon border, very close to the center of Boko Haram. About 15 people dead. Northern Nigeria is one of the most difficult places now to be a Christian uh, because of the attacks of uh, radical Islam. By the time I arrived, 1968, uh, there were churches in almost every village and a thousand people becoming baptized every year. They were a group that had been responsive to the gospel, wanted the New Testament, and a fairly large group. I ended up living in a little thatch hut for the next five years. I spent my days, the early days, in the marketplace, just asking, what's this, what's that, writing it all down phonetically, putting the language into writing, and eventually working with the church to produce the first edition of the Conway New Testament. That's the first edition of the, uh, the Conway New Testament right there, in the days before computer. Because of the mercy of God, you have received salvation as a result of your faith. In 1997, I began to hear word that they were doing work on the Old Testament, that they wanted the whole Bible. Since that time then, all of my spare time has really been working on this translation of the Old Testament. So we're close to the end. I'm doing the, the final read-through, the final checking, and then it'll be sent off to South Korea for printing now. And 30,000 copies we look forward to coming back. Wycliffe Bible Translators is raising half of the funds for it, and the Conway community is responsible for raising the other half. Well, our fundamental identity is that of being Christians, not just Americans, but Christians. We're part of a worldwide community, a worldwide family, and those are brothers and sisters.